Well, guys, I normally do this live, but I kind of want to show some replays that were kind of cool. I had a couple cool battles that I wanted to share, uh, if I can figure out how. Which, okay, here it is, okay. So we have what, um, victory, 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 defeat. Okay, so three in a row. Let's go ahead and watch how this went down. How did this go down? Oh, and it, oh, so when you watch it, you can see what they have. Okay, I did not know this. I'm getting ready to go to sleep, and I'm just like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to go go crazy on it. So, uh, I guess we're both just throwing everything we have out. Um, just random stuff, you know, um, random troops. Uh, so they're, okay, so the arrows looks good on them, and they're getting some damage done. That's cool, that's cool. But, our baby dragon destroys whatever that thing was. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Welcome to the game, Bo. Um, so, got a lot of work done with the baby dragon that they send out their hogs. So, I'm like, I'm going to block it with this um, giant skelly. Min try to minimize the damage that, that they're going to do against us. But they're still, they're still doing good work. Okay, so... I'm like, I'm going to throw a bomber and some and minions. You know, like, air ground. Like, you know, just trying to... Make sure I got all the bases covered. And there's those dreaded arrows. But our giant skeleton 10 is going to take down that first hut. Now I'm like, okay, I'm going to play defense. Even though I didn't see that I only had like 67 hit points left on my tower. Which really, they're, they're going to get down. But it looks, yeah, it looks good. Um... If we kept, pre yeah, it looks like we should just keep pressing on their on their main tower. But then their prince is like doing super duper major damage, guys. Like, yikes! Just that one troop is just like tearing it, tearing our tower down. To we we only have eighty three hit points. And all they need is like arrows or something. But our hog rider comes out and saves the day. Whoa, that was close. That was a really cool match. Um, reason being that I'm making the video. Um, so let's see what happened on replay number. Defeat, 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 victory, victory, victory. Okay, so let's watch this one. This is the second one I wanted to show you guys. Because uh, it was like three in a row that were pretty cool. Like, I, I don't know. It was like... Oh, it was pretty sweet. And now I... Yeah, it's, it's like I said. Uh, it's weird that you see their deck on the replay. And I just went Hog Rider and then Giant Scully. And it was just all bad. Um... We got a little damage done, but uh, the the bomber was a terrible drop. It did help against the witch a little bit. Yeah, it definitely helped against the witch. But uh, I probably wouldn't have done that had I known what they were going to drop. So sometimes it's good to wait. It's good to wait. It's good to be patient. Um, patience is a virtue. <laughs> you know, like... So we're pushing with with some minions and, and another baby drag. And right now we have a slight lead. A pretty solid lead. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking. He's thinking. He's like, uh, fireball, what? Why are you going to fireball? Get rid of that fireball. And I switch sides. And I do the same exact thing, and he does the same exact thing. And then the prince, oh man, you know that prince is going to take that out. 
And the baby drag behind is just like no good. And then a terrible drop on the bomber again. My favorite troop is not working for me. Um, so I'm like, okay. So I drop, I drop some minions. They're chasing down that uh, that Valk. Um, and Clash of Clans, I love the Valk, but it, depending. And yes, that was an oops on my part. It seems like like every time I face the Skelly army, I it, it's just not a good thing. So I switch to the middle, and I'm like trying to like defend slash attack. But that prince, okay, the prince goes down finally. Good, good. I know the baby drag's not gonna do a lot of damage, and they have the witch, and that baby drag actually does a pretty decent job of defending. A terrible drop on the musketeer and once again the skelly army comes out and messes me up um, so their valk is like once again coming out and it, it seems like I'm not afraid of the Valkyrie in this game because uh, I, I, I think that they need to like buffer up or something because it seems like she's really easy to defend against so now we are in sudden death and uh, so boom there goes the big bomb uh, that the, that that wonderful uh, skeleton giant leaves behind and then the hog rider I'm gonna just keep throwing the hog rider out there trying to get damage done uh, on the main tower and it's it's basically main tower versus main tower and when you have what happens when you have the musketeer and the and the bomber locked on the main tower it is or any tower it's going to do super awesome damage it's, it's it's just getting them there without being uh hurt or damaged so let's watch one more replay guys before i end this video like i said i usually do this live but i thought these last three replays were pretty cool they were all close. They were all fun to watch and, and just super awesome. So uh, I'm trying to decide what am I going to do. So I go I go with the giant skelly with the musketeer behind. Um, and they countered it very well. And, and I guess that's where the Valkyrie does become valuable in the sense that she can defend. But... Um, the difference, I think, in the Valkyrie in this game, in regards to Clash of Clans, the Valkyrie is is probably more of a defensive troop. Uh, it seems this way so far, only sitting in Arena 3. I was in Arena 4, I got dropped back down. Now we have a Hutter, uh, which was, I was trying to be a Hutter, and it just wasn't working. So, um, that being said, uh, now we are in the lead again. And it's okay, so we have to defend against those huts. And they become especially um, effective when the clock ticks to one, everything speeds up, and then you can like hut, 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 like put so many huts out. So it, it does it does become an issue. Um Being a previous hutter, I know this because that's how I used to win with huts. But uh, then I then I started losing, and I don't I don't know I haven't I haven't played the game in so long I, I don't know if they if they unbuffed the huts or if they made them weaker or whatever. But he is sticking with the huts. So the cool thing about the giant skelly is just the simple fact that he that you know that any troop near him. When he drops that, that bomb, when he goes down, he's going to destroy a lot of things. And in this case, it's not, it didn't really happen. But when there's a ton of troops around and he goes down, it's like game over, you know? Like, like he, he's going to destroy so many troops, which, you know, it, it affects your elixir and, and everything else. And they are definitely trying to protect with huts. And we're trying to defend, knowing that we have the lead. 
So that that's kind of the plan is 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 defense, defense, defense. Um, going ahead and taking care of those huts and 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 making because right now at this point, whoever's whoever's uh, either side of of the hut that goes down is gonna is gonna be the loser. And this is a big issue. That Skelly army, and that's why I threw the baby drag down and the minions to try to save our hut uh, because we know and then the hog comes out to take out their hut but um, as long as we stay alive and we if we can can we push can we push enough to win this yes and that is game over so that was kind of cool uh, three cool replays in a row I'll go ahead and do a live one you know just to, just to do it um, maybe should I no uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video, guys. Uh, have a good night. Bo is checking out.